All right, guys, good afternoon from Ray Roberts Lake. This is my buddy Tom. Tom's a retired Houston fireman. Moved up here because he wanted to get around a really tough fishing lake in the summertime. <laughs> well done. Going from a tough Conroe to a tough Ray Roberts. Tough Conroe to tough Ray Roberts. So uh, Tom and I connected actually on the fishing forum. Uh, I was hunting for guys with props because I wanted to do some prop testing. And I'll tell you right now, so today we've got a 23-pitch Tempest Plus and a 24-pitch Tempest Plus. Now, obviously we're testing them on a bass cap, but what I'm going to tell you is it's my belief that the, my prop experience today is going to be real similar to guys running a Phoenix or running a Ranger or probably even running a Nitro, kind of running our, the bigger, heavier boats. Obviously, this is a bigger, heavier, it's a bass cap, but it's the biggest, heaviest other than the Jag one of the group. So, what I have been told about props is if you run a 23 Fury, now remember, the, the Tempest is three quarters of an inch bigger in diameter. So it's a bigger prop, but what I'm told is it's got higher slip. So we'll calculate the slip during this video and I'll show it to you on the screen. But so I've been running a 24 pitch Fury three blade. Later this week, we're going to run some other props, hopefully later this week, if we get weather that cooperates. But today, we're going to run the 23 and the 24 pitch Tempest. Now, my thinking as we talked about coming up here is, I think we're going to rev limit on the 23 pitch. Because I think, I think the 24 is going to run more like a 23 pitch Fury, which I'm now being told is the right prop for this boat in the summertime. And so that's part two of this little prop series I'm going to do. So talking to kind of the performance guys that I know, they say on that four stroke motor that from, so today it's 95 degrees and I think the water temperature's in the high 80s. My graph hadn't booted up yet. So it'll say 84 to 88 degrees. What I'm told is when you go from 90 degrees to 50 degrees, you'll pick up three to 400 RPMs or you can add an inch of pitch. So if you're running a 23 pitch, you go to 24, you run a 24, you go to 25. So we're gonna replicate these conditions as soon as it cools off and rerun some props based on what we see today. So I'll give you exactly how the boat's set up. 200 pounds. Yeah. Let's yeah. call, let's call yeah. it 210 over there. <laughs> uh, right now the live wells are empty, but I pretty much set the boat up like I would tournament conditions. And by the way, these are kind of my notes to myself to remember later. The front of the boat is exactly the way I've been running it. There's 25 rods, all my tackle. Both the back boxes are full of tackle. I've got 10 gallons over here and 30 gallons over there. So we're 40 gallons deep. We hold 60 or high, high 50s, low 60s. So we're almost full of fuel. This is what I would consider a tournament load other than the live wells being empty. So we're going to make a couple speed passes in it, and then we'll also fill the live well, and we'll do a hole shot in it based on one of these two props we run today. So let's. So we've got a back camera running. We should be able to see the GPS speed. And I've got a handheld camera, so if you see this fly out, we won't have good handheld video. But we're going to try to get video running this thing and uh, seeing what it does. First prop, 23 pitch Tempest. That's a three blade Tempest Plus. That's a three blade prop. And uh, we'll see what it does. All right, guys, that was first run with that 23 pitch, and I'm gonna say tremendous slip on that prop. We're running 61 to 62.50 RPMs, and I don't think we ever topped 67 miles an hour. Good hole shot, but uh, not a lot of speed in that prop. So we're thinking the 24 pitch. We're, 
We're really not wind aided. The wind's really coming off the port side here, but we're gonna make a pass back the other way. And I'm gonna monkey with the jack plate just a little bit to see if it makes a difference, but I don't think it's going to. So let's get up here where we don't just actually wash this guy out. It's got a good hole shot. All right, so this video was recorded, done, completed, and something bothered me about this video. And so what I'm gonna tell you is if this video interests you, stick around to the very end because I found out some stuff about the rev limiter and I think it tells us something about what's going on and also about the whole shot. So let's jump right to the video. We'll come back to the end. I'll give you the rest of that explanation and we'll also do a real quick spark drop. So here we go. Okay, so you saw uh, in that little bit of fudge there, I mean, just a ton of split. We're turning 6,200 RPMs and barely running in mid, mid to high 60s. So we're gonna pop this one off. We're gonna put the 24 pitch Tempest Plus on. We're gonna run back out there. So just to level set, we didn't run it today, but with he and I in it on a day like today, the way the boat's loaded right now, with my Fury prop, my Fury three blade 24 pitch, the boat would run 71 and a half to maybe 73 miles an hour. So we lost a whole bunch of speed going to that prop. So uh, we'll see what the Tempest 24 pitch does now. And by the way, later in the week, we're gonna run a 25 Tempest Plus, I think, according to what this prop does. I'll be real curious to see what the prop slip numbers. You guys have already seen them. I obviously have enough to put them in the calculator, but it's gonna be really high. So, uh, and I'll, I'll do the same for mine because Mine the other day was running now, just me in it. It was running 72 and a half at 5,800 RPMs, which is not a very high prop, 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 prop slip number. Here we go. Uh, guys, so just, just to show you what we did, so actually, those, huh? that's the wrong prop. Oh. Uh, isn't it? I thought you moved it already. No, this is the new 24. Okay. All right, so all this does is it's just a press in hub. Pop that back out real quick. Okay. So it's just a press in rubber hub. And what you do is I'll show you how to take it off after we put it in, but just push it back in there and you're gonna see it just slides down in there. Sometimes you gotta stand on it a little bit, but you just gotta get it most of the way in there. You don't wanna ding that part up. So you'll see you've been real careful. And then you're just gonna put it back on the spindle of the motor and just tightening it back on, we'll fix it up. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll make that seat. A way to get it out and I'm sure there's a better tool to do it but so when you go to pull it out that's going to be flush we just take a socket and pop it three or four times to get it started once you get it started we just take a couple of pry bars and a big screwdriver and just lift it back out of there and that's how you get that on and off it goes right back in all right 24 pitch four bl uh, three blade tempest plus let's check the whole shot So if you've never had that happen before, what's happening is we're pouring air over the prop. So these are the vent holes and what, let me show you what we got. So we just got little plugs and there's full plugs and there's partial plugs. I'll show you a partial, but Tom's gonna show you how to pop this in here because he's become quite the expert in the last <laughs> one minute. Until you put a camera on. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> well, we had about 10 in a row pop out nearly <laughs> conk us in the head, so. <sighs> And you can see they are slippery little dudes. That's why we're not doing this over the water. Yeah, that's a good point. I asked, did you think we should do it over the water or pull it out of the water? And he laughed at me. 
There we go. There it is. So there's your plug. So you got the full ones. And when your prop comes in, pull on that little bag, you got partial ones. So because we had so much blowout, we're gonna go with the full ones and uh, see what happens. Okay, 24 pitch. You don't think that's the right prop? I don't think. I mean, if you're doing I got 72 a, at 5,700 RPMs with a 24 Fury, and this one will do 6,200 RPMs, which is what? That's the rev limiter in it? Probably. No, I think it'll run. I think the rev limiter's. I never felt it chatter, so I don't yeah. think it was at the rev limiter. But they don't, you got barely hit 70. Barely touched 70 at, with at you and I, and the live yeah. wells are empty. Yeah. So, so yeah. Uh, speaking of which, let's go ahead and. Just out of curiosity, let's do a whole shot with it. So I, I think the I think we both kind of agree. And I think it's I think it's pure slippage, which we'll figure that out later this week when we run a the 23 pitch fury. Um, but I think this is all the difference in the slippage between I, I mean I wouldn't have a problem running that prop, but I mm -hmm. think I can run a little bit faster with Fury. And I'm really curious to run a Fury four blade. I think it's probably Is gonna be slower. Nice? But I noticed, by the way, so I'm on a Bob's jack plate, and the sweet spot on this one was between one and two. So uh, inch, inch and a half up, yeah. If you saw when that speed really dropped off, mm -hmm. I had gotten it up to three and I lost my bite. It really dropped off That's bad. That's about so. the same as on my mine. Yeah, so you run a, a 19 foot legend. Yeah, with, with a with, 200 four stroke and a 24 fury. And 24, and you're turning what RPMs? 57 58 but i you're running, 23 but you're running. I'm running about by myself 65 but okay. with two i'm running 61 62. so all th I can that'll make. be curious if you can get out later this week and run a yeah, couple I'd of these other to props try that and see what happens we'll get out and play with them some more but uh again i think from what we saw today now i'm still curious to run that 25 pitch if we can later this week the tempest 25 plus uh but my sense is from what we saw today we need to be looking at either different brands of Furies, different versions of Furies, or maybe even a Bravo, which is what Phil ran in the links that I originally looked at that was very, very fast. It was Bravo a, is a four blade? Bravo is a four blade, yeah. 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 Is that a, that's a Mercury four blade? It's a Mercury four blade, yeah. And you can buy a straight Mer a Bravo, or you can buy one from Mercury Racing, which has been, which is, uh, I guess, at a lab finish level, mm -hmm. so. But all right, well, thanks for coming out with me today, man. I you enjoyed bet. it. That's I fun stuff. It. It's nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you too. We're gonna go put it back on the trailer. We're gonna give y'all one more 
hole shot to kind of close the day here, and we're going to turn and run back yonder way back across the way. All right, live wheels full. Uh, 24 pitch Tempest Plus. Motor not trimmed down. Oh, <laughs> that's the first thing I looked for, but I thought, no, he wouldn't have done Motor not trimmed down. <laughs> Motor trimmed down. Get the dog out of the hole. drinking his OJ. Okay, so what, so, and I haven't given credit enough where credit's due. So I got a couple different guys who helped me with these videos, especially when I get technical questions about stuff and I, from all over the board. But on this little series of videos so far, I've kind of leaned on my buddy Kenny, who you guys have seen some. He's the guy who took his buddy who was stationed in Afghanistan's uh, son fishing so that guy who's now home could fish the Bass Champ Championship with his son, which is awesome cool. Uh, and then I leaned on Ryan Williams at Rolfs who knows quite a bit about these motors. And then I also reached out to a guy a lot of you Dallas guys know, Key Puckett, the owner of Fishing World who used to race boats. So I talked to them all about what's going on here. And it sounds to me like the rev limiter so on the Mercury website, it says rev, the RPM limit, or it says the RPM range is up to 6,200. Now that doesn't say specifically to me that that's the rev limiter. I actually think, Kenny thinks that it's actually written on the serial number plate on the motor, but my motor's not where I can look at it right now. But I believe what's happening, certainly with the 23 pitch in that video, is we're just hitting the rev limiter. Now, Ryan thinks it might actually be 6250 and I kind of believe that because I noticed once, I didn't show you all this in the video because there's a lot of running footage in it already, but part of what I was doing was running that jack plate up and down trying to find the sweet spot on each of those props. And once when I over, not over trimmed it, but over lifted it, it jumped to 6250 and I actually think that was on the 24 pitch. So I think both of these props are bumping right up to the rev limiter. And, and talking to Key, I mean, truly, truly what you want to do is find a motor that you can run right up to, excuse me, find a prop, then you can run right up to the rev limiter and get the fastest under all load conditions. Now, obviously with my boat right now, turning the 24 pitch Fury in the warm weather, only turning 5,800-ish RPMs, I'm not getting anywhere near the max performance out of this boat from a top end speed standpoint that I possibly could. I think I'm losing my assistant here. Um, so that's part of this process. Now I'm actually really happy with the performance of my boat, but just like most of you guys, if you're watching this video, if we can tweak a little bit more speed out of it, just by going to a different prop, we're gonna do that. So we're gonna keep doing this testing later this week with some additional props and see if we can't get this get my boat current loaded in the hot weather running something north of 6,000 RPMs. I'm really thinking that's either gonna be a 23 pitch three blade fury or 24 pitch four blade fury or a Bravo. We're gonna to try to check them all. One more note, you heard me at the end there, I said that Tempest prop was a dog out of the hole when we filled the live wells. My belief is had I gone to a half, I think if I had, we didn't have time, it was late in the day, and we were, we were kind of tired, it was hot out. I think if we had toyed with either pulling a couple of the plugs or going to half plugs, we'd have gotten a little more air over that prop, let it spin up faster, and that pull shot probably would have been better with the live wells full. So what I'm saying to you there, I'm not trying to sell you on one prop or the other, but what I'm saying to you is that Tempest, if that's the right performing prop and your hole shot's not good, mess with venting or unventing or partial venting to see if you can get that prop. What you want is to have a little bit of slip to let it build RPMs and then when it grabs you're gone again. So again it's all and this is why when we talk with Nick from you know who is the Mercury Racing manager of the propellers he said there is no perfect solution. It's load, it's temperature, it's elevation, it's humidity, it's all of those different things. 
and that's why we're going through this process. So there you go. All right, real quick, Spark Energy Drawing, another $250 to somebody who either has moved their energy over to Spark or has paid the $75 to join the Spark Fishing. And don't forget, lots of big bass money still available and five grand up for grabs for the highest finishing Spark affiliate fishing member or Spark customer at OHIV for the Bass Chef Championship. Today's winner is Steve Fouché, I think that's right, F-O-U-S-H-E-E. -E. Steve, if I butchered that, please forgive me. Right up here in Murphy, Texas. Steve, congratulations. Be looking for an envelope in the next couple of weeks that says rewards on it. That'll be a $250 rewards gift card from your friends at Spark Energy. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I know that's the second closing on that. But when I did this video originally, it bothered me even after I finished the edit. So I wanted to go back and make sure I understood max RPMs on that motor. And I think that's what happened while we couldn't get any speed out of that 23 pitch. So there you go, guys. Thanks for tuning in.